Hi guys, I'm back with another episode and here you're gonna see how I placing a primer and use a spray gun and paint a hull. I placed two layers of gel cut, I sand it off and now it's smooth and nice, ready to go. Let's do it. Um, I'm still working also with the bolt thruster in the front so um, it's in pipe is installed and uh, all the glass fiber and gel cut basically is done so but the engine still is not installed so that's uh, what I need for that is uh, I need to drill the holes for the propeller shaft and uh, for the mounting the engine so basically I need one, two, three, four holes. Quite a lot, right? Yeah. Yeah, but that's how it is. So uh, uh, it was a little bit uh, challenging to find a 29 millimeter drill that can drill through the glass fiber. Everything basically can drill through the glass fiber and uh, I found this one and 26 and I want to see if this one is something that could work. I hope so because it really wasn't that easy to find. So let's go downstairs and see if it fits inside. I mean with four holes, I mean if you look here, it's like one small, like two smalls, one bigger, and one is like extra big. That's what I mean with four holes. And it's written 29, but it uh, actually feels like 29 a half or something. So I think it's all right if it's a little bit bigger since I'm gonna seal it up uh, really well. So there should that should be okay. So this is the place where I want to drill and I already start to drill uh, So yes, uh, the problem was why I couldn't finish is that I use this kind of drill and This drill adjust the size and then kind of you can drill it but at the end I really didn't find this uh, really useful for my situation where I need to be really precise kind of let's say quite precise and I found out I think this one is gonna be the one that I need here to to do the drill to make a holes and then obviously these kind of drills that I need here the small ones will those will be easier to find uh, so that's this is what I want to do now and let's do it and uh, ta-da! This is how it looks. Awesome. We can look outside through the hole. And this is where this little friend will go in. Just from the other side. Uh, I'm really really looking forward to place this one and see how it looks from outside and from inside as well. Let's do it. All right guys, here I have the bow thruster engine. I'm gonna see if this fits. All right. Right, seems like this is pretty good fit and yeah, now it's just to screw the screws here and uh, there's four screws that 
holds this engine on the place and then we are good to go with all the battery and uh, electrical installation that's really really nice really looking forward and before i actually install this all i have to finish the painting outside around the boat thruster tunnel and uh, when i'm gonna do that then i can uh, prepare this place send make it smooth put the ceiling and then put everything together and then it's going to be as it needs to be all right then uh, now i'm ready to go outside place the tape prepare the sides for uh, primer finally that moment so i'm really excited i'm gonna use a spray gun and uh, let's see the results Alright, now I'm done with covering up everything. I'm ready for a primer. Let's do it. Yep, and this is a primer which I'm gonna use as a first coat. And this is a thinner which I'm gonna use just to be able to spray, use with a spray gun this primer. When I'm mixing up, I have to get the right viscosity, otherwise it's not gonna be looking nice and it's really almost impossible to apply the primer. Primer is on. Well, what can I say? It looks, uh, it's really hard to say right now how the results will be, but so far it looks pretty nice. Uh, let's see when we're gonna apply a paint on top of this. I'm finally gonna be done with this, hopefully, today. It cures really fast. So it means that uh, I can apply uh, uh, I can apply a paint because the weather the weather coast will not going to be so good in these following few days. So I really want to do that today, and uh, seems like I can do that. Alrighty, alrighty. So, now the primer is on, I can go ahead with the paint and I choose Off-White by International. The first layer of the paint is done and uh, hopefully, finger crossed, that I will be able to put the second layer today. Alright guys, I didn't have a time yesterday to finish up the second layer of the paint. So I'm gonna do that today. And um, yeah, uh, it's just uh, cures a little bit uh, slower than I was expecting. But it's alright. Uh, the weather also is changing and, uh, and it's uh, 
it's going to rain at the evening so I want to do this in the morning so yeah I mean it looks good but uh, the problem were with the spray gun that I use uh, I have the one that I used to paint the cars with and that costs around 700 euros uh, it's quite expensive but it's do the job really well um, it's really really hard to to set up this one uh, to spray as I want um, and uh, that caused a little bit problems when I spray it wasn't uh, the perfect finish as I want so since the weather is a bit against me right now and it's uh, supposed to rain it's supposed to rain a lot so I'm uh, a little bit worried about when I can do this job because uh, it's kind of painted but not as I want to look not, uh, but it doesn't look as I want it to look yeah here it's I mean it's shiny and nice it looks really really good but you still can see a little like over overlaps it's like uh, where the paint is a little bit less than the others and some places the paint is a little bit more and that's uh, because it's really really hard to, to set the spray gun um, but uh, and also this paint which I use here is um, it's two component paint and you don't need to place any lac afterwards but usually on the car you always place a lac afterwards so if there is any mud mat then you always cover up and make it shine uh, when you place the lac because it just makes the paint shine but uh, here it's uh, it's not the case and you have to put a really really thick layer but with a spray gun it's almost impossible to put a thick layer so the paint starts drop uh, so you have to so it's really really difficult I, I heard people saying that you can use um, also like a car regular paint for the boat and uh, I, I know that uh, I used that for my first boat uh, when I didn't have experience at all I thought well if the car can handle like the salt and everything why the car why the car paint couldn't hold uh, well to the boat because it's the roads are salty and and uh, at least here in Europe and uh, the paints must be really really strong so I did I paint my previous boat with a regular car paint and it worked uh, I had that boat for almost six years and it wasn't any problem at all it was shiny and it was looking really really good but now I listened to the people opinion and kind of thought okay let's let's use and let's try with the boat paint so I try with the boat paint now and I really didn't like how it how it turns out because you kind of uh, need to place a thick layer but you can't do that with a spray gun that's impossible and if you don't place a thick layer then it kind of shines more some places and then some places it doesn't shine at all so it's like a matte so it's not uh, the results that I was looking for and now I'm really really don't know what I'm go going to do now because it's always an option to use a roller 
after you place the paint with the roller I don't like have uh, the roller leaves like a marks and uh, uh, I don't like it it's like uneven and uh, with the spray gun it's like even and nice but uh, maybe I should go with the uh, car paint and do as I did that before and now I'm really really confused uh, I have to think about what I'm going to do now so yeah we'll see and so I decide to repaint one side of the boat with the roller uh, since the other side it, it's not uh, looking too bad so uh, I think it's uh, it's just I tr I'm always like uh, trying to find the things uh, sometimes where those things are and where there where there is no things I try to find some things I'm uh, trying to make as good as possible so and sometimes I push myself too much too much in details so yeah but uh, one side I will go with the roller and uh, I know one technique which you can use with the roller problem with the roller is uh, that when you apply the paint it uh, leaves like a bubbles like a small small air bubbles and those if you're not removing those air bubbles they're gonna stay there and it look gonna look really really ugly so and the when one technique that I found out I actually heard that technique from my friend um, and they use it and it worked quite well for them so one is applying the paint with the roller and one another person is going behind him with a with a dry roller so the one that is new and uh, just barely barely touching the surface not pressing just barely barely touching the surface and then you have to have like 10 of these rollers because you have to change them really often so it cannot be too much paint on the roller because then it's gonna make the air bubbles pump up again so you use a roller which is new uh, for some little while and then you change to the new one again and use it and uh, you have to wait just a little bit to paint start cure and when the paint start cure then you do that air remove that air bubbles um, obviously with the spray gun it looks way much better I, I just gonna place uh, one side with the roller and uh, see how it's gonna look if that's gonna be like a really really big difference between the other side then I have to do the roller all around the boat uh, we'll see how it's gonna look but uh, yeah well that's how it is you discover some things and and the only downside of this all is that the weather and the forecast now it's uh, August uh, 22 and uh, it's really a lot of lot of things that I want to do outside and I realize that I have I don't have a time to do I, I I'm probably not gonna make on time to do all the things that I want to do outside before the winter comes so yeah I don't I don't know let's see how far I can get I just want to show you a little bit of uh, my plans what I want to do outside starting from here towards to the front so the first thing I want to paint here the top and then the sides here the walking area and uh, uh, I want to have this side gray with a special paint that is uh, with a small gravel inside uh, stops you from falling down when it's wet and it's the same gray color here and uh, these sides around everywhere will be white also here will be white going around and here will be gray and white gonna go around everywhere here 
so I think it's gonna look nice. Uh, I did uh, that to my old boat and I think it looks really good. So then uh, the another thing is that I changed the hatch, now the hatch is installed and it looks amazing from my opinion. And I'm gonna keep the white around here but the rest will be grey. I'm gonna keep the white here and the rest will be grey. Then I have the hatch here which I'm gonna change to a new one and it's going to look the same like here only a little bit bigger this is 62 by 62 that's gonna be here and this was uh, I think 50 by 30 or something uh, I can't honestly remember but yeah so uh, and this is another project this is another project since you see the boat is like going uh, it's lower here and higher here which means that I have to when, the, when I'm gonna go get the new hatch it's going to be a pretty big job as well to install here because uh, these uh, small windows that I have here they really doesn't make so much uh, brighter the room that I have in the front uh, the front cabin it doesn't make uh, brighter and uh, the problem is that the hatch has have to arrive almost two weeks oh more than two weeks ago and uh, I actually I wrote an email for them and asking where is my stuff and I still don't have an answer it was three days ago and uh, I start worrying because I already pay and uh, my stuff is somewhere where I don't know and I hopefully I will get my stuff because <laughs> I'm start to be really worried about that it's not cheap at all everything to the boat is really expensive yes and um, then I have the anchor and the chain going inside here Oh, I just temporarily placed some ropes there, but yeah, this is the chain for anchor and uh, This is kind of funny as well because this hatch kind of It's supposed to mount here, but it's not and it's kind of loose So this is the project that I have to figure out something here I'm not and I, I have an electric winch which I have to place as well uh, before it was a uh, uh, the one that you use with a hand like uh, but now I'm gonna place the electric one and I, I have it uh, I have the electric one already it's just I need to figure out how I'm gonna do this and uh, I really want to use this hatch as a normal hatch to be able to open up also here is like a, this is like a tunnel it's like Okay, water, yeah, if there isn't any, any water around, it's gonna collect there, it's gonna just go inside and and it's gonna be full. Uh, it's always gonna be water going in. Of course, I have uh, this uh, down there, you can see maybe from here. When the water gets in, those small pipes leads the water away and uh, the water is actually not <laughs> staying there. So it's there is way out. But anyway, it's it's kind of like circulation. Water gets in and then out, in and then out. It's nice if the water don't get in at all, uh, or it at least less than than now. It's like a hole there, like a hole there, like a hole here, and uh, yeah, it's it's uh, also it's like two anchorage in front one anchor and then there is another anchor really don't uh, see a big use for that I heard the people like using uh, two anchors and so it's a better and safer I don't know uh, I never used two anchors so I honestly don't know if the anchors two anchors is better than one but if you guys use that before please comment below and which way is better with one or two anchors in the front uh, that would be really nice to know as well because I never had experience with two anchors in the front but this boat has option to have two anchors in the front yeah if we're talking about the 
this place here is awesome inside you are protected you have uh, uh, the water that doesn't get in but uh, I don't know what it was what was done before here but this is actually a window that is glass and then here is a plastic one this is why you place like a actual glass everywhere there 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 and then here you place a plastic one and obviously the plastic one has uh, cracks and holes and you can see here it's like the water getting in from everywhere from every single angle from like you can't even imagine from where the water gets in it's just like finds a way through this plastic one and uh, and the water doesn't get in through the ones that have actual glass on it there is no any leaks and anything so it's perfect but this plastic one is just rubbish uh, and I have to find uh, a one that is uh, actual glass and then I have to frame it up and, and see how it's gonna fit uh, see, see where I can get it and who can do that for me because I need the glass and then somehow I have to glue the frame and stuff and that's something uh, really interesting that I'm <laughs> gonna do as well so it's a lot of things that I want to do before the winter hits and yes that's shortly it